Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really fun market bag made in Dishy Twist. This is a gorgeous cotton. It's 100% cotton. It's a worsted weight number four yarn and you can pick this up from We Crochet and it really is a gorgeous soft yarn. So today I'm going to be working with this fun peach color. It's really, really pretty and I think it will show up well in the video. So the majority of our bag is going to be made with the twist and then our handles and finishing edge will be made in the solid. So if possible, you want to go in and find that center pull. You may have a little bit of kind of a mess to work through at the start, but it definitely works up a lot better if you have that center pull. I'll be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and we're going to start the bag off with a magic circle. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your index finger three times. Put your hook through all three loops. Grab your first loop and pull it through. Chain two and we're going to work 10 double crochet in the ring. So now you want to move your work out of the way so you can see those loops. Take your tail, start to pull. One loop's going to pull in and one loop's not. Take the tail that's pulled in, give it a tug, then take your tail and pull. And as you can see, your loop is, your ring's nice and tight now. We'll slip stitch into the first double crochet to join and chain two. So we're going to start our increase. So we're going to work two double crochet in every stitch. So we're going to increase from 10 to 20. So adding two double crochet per stitch and work that around. And once you've worked all the way around, we're going to slip stitch in the first double crochet to join and be sure you have 20 stitches. We'll chain two. Our chain two is not included as a stitch. We're working right into this first stitch and we're working one double crochet. And in the next stitch, we're working two double crochet. So now our repeat is one double crochet in the next and two double crochet in the next. And we'll repeat that all the way around. Okay, so now I've worked all the way around. I have 30 stitches. Every round goes up by 10 stitches. Slip stitch into the first double crochet to join and chain two. And now this is the first round where things start to change up a bit. We have a crisscross stitch pattern throughout this bag. So now Every time we have an even two stitches, we're going to cross them before we're increasing again. We're going to increase up till we have 100 stitches in total. So we still have seven more rounds to go before we're up to 100. So every time we were able to have these two stitches before we increase or multiples of two stitches before we increase, we're going to cross them. So to cross, you're going to skip the first stitch 
work a double crochet in the next. Work a double crochet back into the skipped stitch. And then, so we've done our two and then our increase. Work two in the next stitch. Okay, so each round goes up how many stitches are made before we do the increase. So we have one stitch and then the increase, two stitches and then the increase, three stitches and then an increase, four stitches and then an increase, and so on to keep our increase at 10 stitches per round. So if you're familiar with making lots of hats and other things that increase in the round, you'll already understand how this works. So now the next two stitches we're going to cross. So skip the next stitch, work a double crochet, work a double crochet back into that skipped stitch. And then we do our increase. So two doubles in that stitch. And now we're just repeating this all the way around. So skip, and then go back and then do a double. So just repeat this now all the way around and you should be ending with 40 stitches in total. Okay, so when you get around, you should always be ending with two doubles in the final stitch. Your increase is always gonna be that final one. Now slip stitch to join and chain two. So now for this round, we're going to be working three stitches before we have our increase. So that means we don't have an even number for doing crossovers. So what we'll do instead is we'll work one double crochet in the first and then we're going to cross the next two. So skip the next, work a double crochet, and then work a double crochet back into the skipped. So now we've made our three stitches, and then we'll do two in the next. So we'll work one in the next, and then we'll do our crisscross. So we'll skip a stitch, work a double crochet in the next, and then work back into the next. Okay, and then we'll do two in the next stitch. And now you can repeat that all the way around. And as I go throughout this pattern, I like to talk to myself kind of as I go so I don't lose track. So this is just a tip. You don't have to do this. This is just how I can keep things straight. So I'll just say in my head one, cross, two. I'm going to work through this fast. I'm just going to tell you how I kind of count in my head to make sure I keep doing it right. So I'm just going one, cross, two. And I just talk to myself like that just so I keep track of where I'm at because you can get messed up and I have messed up. So yeah, if I talk to myself, I usually can keep track of where I'm at. So I finish that up and the end of round five, you should have 50 stitches. So you're going to keep going at the end of round six, you should have 60 stitches. The end of round seven, you should have 70 stitches. And we just keep working this until we have a total of 100. So now we'll chain two. And this time we have four stitches before we do two. So we can do two crosses and then our two. So I'll just work through that with you. So we'll skip the first stitch, going into the next, working our double, go back, and then skip a stitch, work a double, go back into the skip stitch and then we work two in the next. And now we'll repeat this pattern all the way around. 
So now when I count to myself with this one, I'll just be going cross. Cross. Two. And I'll talk to myself like that the entire round, making sure I stay on track. Okay, so I'm ending with two double crochet. So that makes me aware that, yep, I've done it correctly. You can always go back and count to and make sure you're now at 60 stitches. Slip stitch to join. And I'm gonna work through this round with you too, and then I'm gonna work it off camera. So now we're working five stitches before we work our increase. So now we have five, we're not even again. So I always put my single stitch in the first one. So just to keep it consistent throughout, you wanna work one in the first, and then we're gonna do our cross. another cross and then two one two so again you can count your count yourself I mean you could go one two three four five six seven or like what I like to do is so now I know my next stitch is going to be one Cross, cross, and two. Repeating that all the way around. So our next round will be six stitches before we work two. So when we have the six stitches, we'll have three crosses before we increase. So just keep working away, get up to your 10 where you have 100 stitches, and then I'm gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll meet you back up again to kind of show you how rounds are gonna look at that point. Okay, so I kept increasing until that I had 120 stitches in total. You could work it to only 100 as well for a bit smaller bag, but for this bag, I'm doing 120. So now what we're gonna do is a repeat of two rows for this pattern throughout, so no more increases. And we're gonna begin with one double crochet in the first stitch. We want our crossovers to kind of go between our crossovers from our previous row to keep them going on an angle. So that kind of is a, so you kind of know that you're going through the right stitches. You're taking a stitch from here and a stitch from here and crossing them. So skip the next, go into the next, and then go back into the skip stitch. And so we're doing that all the way around and we'll be ending with just one double crochet. So I'm gonna keep working this around, doing my crossovers off camera, and then I'll meet you back up. You can kind of see here how that makes the stitch go on more of a diagonal. Okay, so I've worked all the way around, and now we're gonna end with one double crochet. So if you haven't ended with one stitch remaining, go back and double check your work because you should be ending with one because we started with one. So now we'll slip stitch to join, chain two, and now we're gonna start right with a crossover stitch. So, cause that puts us in between when we look at these stitches again to keep with our pattern. So this will be our alternating row. So we'll do a row where we start with one double crochet and then our crossover. And then the next round, we do the crossover 
So skip the first stitch, work back into the skipped. And now we're just repeating this all the way around. So this is all we're doing now for the remainder of the bag until we get it to our desired length. So if we take a measure at this point, so let's say before we started this row, just um, our increase rows. So we have about six and a half inches. It's about six and a half. So we wanna basically double that. So we're gonna go to about 12 or 13 inches in total. So probably about 13, doubling what our increase rows were. We'll double that with non-increase rows. So now you can just keep working and when you work around, you're gonna again end with your crossover stitch because it's just even, we're working in twos as we do this. So what I want you to do is just keep working until you have 13 inches worth of work. Okay, so I've been working away on my bag and I've worked until I have about 13 inches. So it's about 13 and a half. And I've ended up with 28 rounds in total. So I'm just gonna show you how to finish that up in one second. So this is my second ball of Dishy Twist. So I still have some left, which is great because if your gauge ends up being a little bit off, it gives you a little bit extra to work with. And I'm just gonna show you here, I've completed my smaller bag. So you can kind of see how it looks with the handle and I'm gonna show you how to make that. So the PDF will come with both of your sizes. So this one I'm doing here is gonna be a little bit bigger. So it's great to hold lots of goodies. You can use it for yarn, you could use it for the beach, grocery shopping, really whatever. So I'm just gonna take my solid color for the handles. So I'm just gonna finish up <coughs> skipping my stitch, going into the last stitch, making a double crochet, going back into the skip stitch, and now we're gonna change color on the final two. So I'm gonna cut And now I'm gonna bring in my solid and pull through. And then I'm gonna slip stitch to join. You can just grab your tails to tighten that up. And now what we're gonna do is change to the smaller hook. So I have my five millimeter crochet hook. So I'm changing over to that and I'll chain one. Okay, so I've placed a stitch marker in my 30 second stitch because I wanna work across 31 stitches. Okay, so we're gonna start by working a single crochet in the first stitch. We'll skip the next stitch, work a single crochet in the next, skip the next stitch, work a single crochet in the next, and we're just gonna do this all the way along until we get to the marker. Okay, so we're ending here in the stitch just before the marker, and that's a total of 16 stitches. Now we'll chain one and turn and you're just working back across single crochets in every stitch for a total of 16 stitches. 
So I've worked across 16, we'll chain one and turn. And we'll work back again, 16. Okay, so I finished off my third row. We're gonna go back for a fourth row and then come right back again for five rows in total. So I'm just gonna continue my last two rows off camera and I'll meet you up when I have finished my fifth row. Okay, and then once you've completed your fifth row, we're now gonna make a chain our chain is gonna start here and we're gonna join it on the other side. Now I'm keeping my straps pretty short. My strap here is 50 chains in total and I can fit this over my shoulder. It goes in pretty snug. So if you want a little bit more looseness there, you could go with a little bit longer chain. But for mine, I'm sticking with the 50 because it will stretch to when you have uh, weight in the bag. So now you either want to keep your stitch your chains fairly loose or even go up to your larger hook for doing this chain if you're struggling to keep that chain loose as you go. Just make sure you haven't twisted your chain and just come right over to the other side. Slip stitch into that top stitch to join. Just pull it through. And then I'm just gonna fasten that off. Okay, so now what you want to do is leave 29 stitches unworked because we want this to all work around evenly. So we have 120 stitches in total, so 31 for this side, 31 for this side, and then 29 stitches and 29 stitches. If you somehow don't have 120, just make sure that you're even working all the way around. So now what we'll do is join in We're going to work this the same as we did the other section. So single crocheting in the first, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next, skip a stitch, single crochet, and we're doing that for a total of 16 stitches. So I've worked across 16 stitches right to my next marker and then I'll chain one and turn and we're again gonna work that we have five rows of single crochet. So I'm just gonna work my five rows off camera and then I'll meet you back up. Again. Okay, I have my five rows of single crochet and now I will do my chain of 50 again and join it over to this side. And again, make sure you keep those chains loose. And I'm just gonna slip stitch it over to this side. And again, we're gonna fasten off. So we're basically set up now for both of our straps. But what I wanna do is come back over to our join. So I wanna keep all the joins in the join area if possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join into that where you can see the full stitch here. So I'm gonna join into there. I'll 
chain one and single crochet. Then I'm gonna just sort of feel my way with single crochet stitches up the side here. So we'll do one there, two, three, four, and five. So this one makes six and then sort of five up the side. <clears throat> and then we're gonna single crochet in the chain. I'm gonna move my tails out of the way. And remember that we have 50 chains. So we wanna work across 50. Let's try to get into that first one here. It's a little tight for the first one. And this is why too, you wanna to keep your chains loose because it just makes it easier to work into them. So we're just working single crochets in every chain now. So I'm gonna work all those off camera and I'll meet you on the other side. So once we get over, we're just gonna work down the side, just like we did the other side. So here's one, two, three, four, five. So we had five on the other side and then this first stitch you kind of see here is six. Now what we're gonna do is just work all the way around the bag. So we're just working across these stitches. So as you work, you're just gonna come right all the way to this other side. And so I'm just making sure, again, my stitch count's the same. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're to our chain and working across the chain a total of 50. So I'll keep working around Okay, and now we're just finishing off again. So there's two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna remove this. And I'm just going across the final stretch and then we'll slip stitch to join. Okay, so now I'll slip stitch to join in the first single crochet, chain one, and then all we're gonna do is go all the way around every single crochet stitch we've made. So we'll get the straps, go all the way around, get the second strap. And what you wanna do is two more rounds of this, so a total of three. If you want your strap, this thickness you could definitely go around a fourth time to get a little bit stronger strap again so i'm just going to complete these two rounds now off camera and i'll meet you up when i'm all finished okay so i've completed working around and i've ended up with my bit bigger bag going with four rounds for a nice thick strap. You know, you could even go thicker than this if you wanted it to be really strong. But I think keeping it at three with the smaller bag and four with the bigger bag just helps them to balance out a little bit better. So you can also attach a personalized tag 
My tags are from Brick Bubble, and I'll have links in the description box for these. And all I have left to do is weave in all of these ends. And then I have my bag complete. So if you check the description box, you can get links for the pattern to it that includes both sizes. Just gonna flatten that out so you can kind of see the, si the finished size, how it looks with my hands. It's a really, it's actually a really great size, I think, for shopping, but the small size is really nice as well. And if you just look in here, you can see how much you can actually fit inside this bag. So thanks so much for watching.